The Baghdad Battery is a collection of artifacts discovered near Baghdad, Iraq in 1936. It consists of a clay pot, a copper tube, and an iron rod. The artifacts date back to the Parthian or Sassanid periods of Mesopotamian history, approximately 2,000 years ago. The discovery of these objects sparked debate and speculation. Could this be an ancient battery? The Baghdad battery was found by Wilhelm Koenig, a German archaeologist. He was working as the director of the National Museum of Iraq at the time. Koenig came across the unusual collection of artifacts in the museum's basement. He theorized that they might have been used together as a battery. However, his theory was initially dismissed by many scholars. The Baghdad battery remains an enigma. Its true purpose is still debated. The artifacts are now on display at the National Museum of Iraq. They serve as a reminder of the ingenuity of ancient civilizations. They also challenge our understanding of history. Ancient Mesopotamia, often called the Cradle of Civilization, was a region of remarkable technological advancement. Located in the fertile crescent between the Tigris and Euphrates rivers, this area witnessed the rise of some of the world's earliest cities, writing systems, and complex societies. The people of Mesopotamia made significant strides in mathematics, astronomy, and agriculture. They developed sophisticated irrigation systems, impressive architectural techniques, and a system of writing known as cuneiform. The Baghdad Battery emerges from this context of innovation. It challenges our understanding of the technological capabilities of ancient Mesopotamians. The battery's existence suggests that these people may have possessed knowledge of electricity. This knowledge predates our current understanding of its discovery by centuries. The discovery of the Baghdad Battery in Iraq, the heart of ancient Mesopotamia, adds another layer of intrigue. It raises questions about the extent of their knowledge and the potential uses of this technology. To grasp the significance of the Baghdad battery, it's essential to compare it to other technologies known from that era. Ancient Mesopotamians were adept at working with metals like copper and iron. They used these materials for tools, weapons, and ornaments. They also developed sophisticated techniques for pottery and glassmaking. However, the Baghdad battery stands apart. It suggests a level of technological sophistication that seems out of place in that time period. No other artifacts from ancient Mesopotamia suggest an understanding of electricity or its potential applications. The Baghdad battery's uniqueness makes it a true outlier in the archaeological record. It prompts us to reconsider our assumptions about the technological limits of ancient civilizations. The Baghdad battery, despite its simple appearance, is a meticulously crafted device. The clay jar, approximately 130 millimeters high and 40 millimeters in diameter, serves as the container. Its narrow mouth is sealed with an asphalt plug, a common sealant in ancient Mesopotamia. Through this plug pass two key components, a copper tube and an iron rod. The copper tube, about 9 centimeters long and 2.6 centimeters in diameter, is inserted into the jar, held in place by the asphalt. Inside the copper tube sits an iron rod, approximately 7.5 centimeters long, which doesn't touch the copper. This arrangement, with two different metals separated by a non-conductive material, is strikingly similar to the basic design of a modern galvanic cell or battery. This design has led many to believe that the Baghdad battery is, in fact, an ancient battery. But how could it have functioned, and what was its purpose? These questions continue to puzzle researchers today. Section 5. Sparks of Speculation. Theories about its purpose. The purpose of the Baghdad battery remains a subject of intense debate. The most common theory is that it was used to generate electricity. By filling the jar with an acidic solution, the battery could produce a small electrical current. However, the low voltage raises questions about its practical applications. Some propose multiple batteries could produce a higher voltage. This could have been used for electroplating or medicine. The Mesopotamians might have used electricity to electroplate objects, or for electrotherapy, 
treating pain and ailments. Some theories suggest it was used in religious ceremonies. A spark could have been seen as divine power. These theories continue to fuel debate among researchers. Section 6, Archaeological Enigma, Mainstream versus Alternative Views The Baghdad Battery has divided the archaeological community. Mainstream archaeologists remain skeptical of its interpretation as a battery. They argue that there is no conclusive evidence to support this claim. They point to the lack of written records or other artifacts that suggest the ancient Mesopotamians had knowledge of electricity. Alternative archaeologists, on the other hand, are more open to the possibility that the Baghdad battery is evidence of advanced ancient technology. They point to the object's unique design and its potential for generating electricity as evidence. They also argue that the absence of written records does not necessarily disprove the battery's existence, as many ancient technologies were passed down through oral traditions. The debate between mainstream and alternative archaeologists highlights the challenges of interpreting the past. With limited evidence, it can be difficult to distinguish between speculation and historical fact. Section 7. Recreating History, Modern Experiments and Their Findings Researchers have conducted numerous experiments to replicate the Baghdad battery and test its capabilities. These experiments show the battery can generate a small electrical current with an acidic solution. Willard Gray, an engineer, built a replica and filled it with grape juice. The battery produced about 2 volts. While these experiments show potential, they don't prove its ancient use. The debate over its true purpose continues. Section 8. A Battery or Not? The Baghdad Battery's Place in History The Baghdad Battery remains one of archaeology's most intriguing mysteries. Its existence challenges our understanding of ancient technology and raises more questions than answers. Was it truly an ancient battery, centuries ahead of its time? Or are we misinterpreting history, attributing modern knowledge to a people who may not have possessed it? Despite decades of research and debate, the Baghdad battery's true purpose remains elusive. The lack of conclusive evidence ensures that it will continue to be a subject of speculation and intrigue. Whether a battery or not, the Baghdad battery serves as a reminder of the ingenuity of ancient civilizations and the limits of our understanding of the past. It is a testament to the enduring power of human curiosity and our desire to unravel the mysteries of history.